Canada are Moss's a sheer delight and cheeky leggings while riding on the back of Bo Ben Affleck's Harley. Anita Armas held on to her beefcake boyfriend Ben Affleck as he drove her around on his Harley in Los Angeles on Black Friday. The 32-year-old Knives Out actress wore a pair of clinging sheer leggings as she clutched her 48-year-old heartthrob. Ben threw a dashing gray blazer over a simple black t-shirt and wore a pair of fashionably faded jeans for his latest ride. Meanwhile Lana opted for a splashier look throwing on a bright anorak that was color-blocked in salmon, bronze and aquamarine. The two became acquainted while filming the erotic thriller Deep Water which was helmed by unfaithful director Adrian Lin. Deep Water is based on a book by Patricia Highsmith whose work has been made into such films as the talented Mr. Ripley and Carol. The film is planned to bow next August having been bumped from its November 2020 release date to accommodate the coronavirus lockdowns. Since the shoot Ben and Anna have gone into lockdown together amid the coronavirus pandemic and have frequently been seen out as a duo. Anna has also been traveling with Ben, including to Joshua Tree for her birthday and to Georgia with his children to visit his mother. Ben, a recovering alcoholic is co-parenting three children with his amicable ex-wife Jennifer Garner, Violet, 14, Serafina, 11, and Samuel, 8. The one-time couple are so friendly that when he fell off the wagon in 2018 she was glimpsed driving him to rehab and passing him Jack in the Box takeaway in the car. Around that time she also called Gavin O'Connor, who was about to direct Ben in a basketball movie called The Way Back and persuaded him to keep the project alive. The studio certainly thought the movie was over, Gavin told 34th Street, a student magazine at his alma mater the University of Pennsylvania. His ex-wife Jennifer Garner called me up, and told me that when he went to rehab, he took a basketball with him, Gavin revealed. She said, Gavin, he's asking you, please don't pull the plug on the movie, he really wants to do this said the director, whose film also dealt with addiction. The movie got a theatrical release in early March this year and then an online release later that month on account of the coronavirus lockdowns. As for Ben's new romance, a source told Us Weekly in March that Jennifer is happy in her own life and supportive of him and happy for him and his relationship. Early in lockdown Anna featured in the American Airlines magazine Nexos and gushed about her leading men a category that includes Ben. I've been very lucky, because these men are all very handsome, but the best part of it is who they are as people. I've had the best partners, she shared. The brunette bombshell has worked with a string of desirable actors in the past ranging from Ryan Gosling to Daniel Craig. After making a splash opposite Daniel in last year's movie Knives Out she is slated to star opposite him again in his last James Bond movie No Time to Die. She is also playing Marilyn Monroe in an upcoming biopic called Blonde which is based on a Joyce Carol Oates novel of the same name.